Hello there, Libras. Welcome to your weekly reading. When I was shuffling out the spread for you, um, what I saw was I see this scene in an office. So it's like, you know, a, a very uh, traditional office type of environment. Everybody's wearing their um, their their blouse. Their, the, the men are wearing their, um, uh, their business suit with a tie. And everyone is very well groomed and they're wearing the nice office shoes. And I see this person, um, it looks like she's, it doesn't look like she's an intern. I feel like she has status. She has a good position in that office environment. She's holding a stack of, like a box full of stuff. It's, it's like, a, it, it seems like a heavy box. It's like a bin with stuff in it. And she's like, well, I have to carry this kind of far, so I'm gonna take off my shoes. So she takes off her shoes and she's walking barefoot and she runs into her boss and he sees her he's like shocked he sees her with this heavy box and he looks down at her feet and she's barefoot and he's probably wondering he's probably thinking you know the thought bubbles are like what are you doing and then i think he realizes that she's carrying this really heavy box and she probably has a long distance to go and the the shoes are probably not comfortable and so rather than chastising her he helps her with the box and he helps her move the box to wherever it is that she needs to go so that's what i'm sensing um that that's what i i saw when i did the um when i shuffled the cards for you so what it's telling me is you have somebody in your life that is very very understanding of your struggles okay whatever it is that you need to do um, I feel almost like there is an unconventional way to do it and I feel like you don't have to follow the norm you don't have to follow the social expectations you don't have to you know um, you, you don't have to do what is expected of you. There is a smarter way to do things or there is even possibly a better way to do things that might just require um, kind of like bucking the social mores, okay? Bucking the system or bucking like whatever is socially acceptable because I feel like we fall into these traps and um, People do these things and, you know, they look a certain way, they dress a certain way, they behave a certain way. And sometimes it doesn't even make sense anymore. Okay, so it's almost like following the herd when you should be creative with your own ideas. Following the herd when you should be leading the herd. Okay, so that's what I'm sensing. Um, for many of you and uh, either way, I definitely feel like you're in an environment where your superiors, you know, because you have here that supervisor, uh, you, you're where your superiors are very, very understanding of some of the struggles that you might have gone through. They're very supportive of you and your supervisor or whoever your superior is, whoever it is that you report to, um, they're also very unconventional okay so you know on the surface they might look all prim and proper with their suit and tie and their nice polished shoes and their um, um, office hair you know whatever that office hairstyle is everyone has like really nicely trimmed nicely styled hair on the surface maybe the supervisor has also had to follow the norms in order to get to his or her position but I feel like they understand that, you know, some of these rules don't make sense. We all have to play the game. We all have to, you know, fake it until we make it. And we help the ones that are trying to make it. So I, I feel like you have somebody who's really understanding, who's very supportive of your ideas. If you're trying to implement new projects that might be a little bit unconventional, you definitely have their full support. If you are seen as someone who's a little bit unconventional with the way you do things, I don't see a lot of Librans are just, you know, eccentric. Aquarius are very eccentric. I don't feel like Libras, you guys are. Um, if anything, I feel like you, you, you do follow these, uh, you know, social expectations to a T. And for whatever reason, maybe you have strong Aquarius placement in your chart. Uh, you might be a little bit more on the eccentric side. And I, I definitely feel either way, it doesn't matter. 
you have a lot of support for your groundbreaking ideas, and you have a lot of support from higher ups. Okay. Um, so going back to this spread, this spread indicates to me that there is a situation in your life, and you have a second chance here to go back and fix it. And、um, I don't see this very often. I mean, once this year, I feel like it showed up for Taurus, and、uh, I feel like with you guys, you have an, a second chance, a do-over, a reset, pushing that soft reset button, and being able to, you know, go back to to a, a specific moment in time, and to be able to right a wrong, to be able to rectify a situation, to be able to clear the air, to be able to gain some understanding, some insights. About a situation,、um, I feel like there was a situation you were dealing with another person, possibly、um, a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo.、Um, I feel like both people were very confused about one another's agendas. Both both people were very confused about intentions. And I feel as if you might have been projecting. It's almost like a mirroring, in,、uh, like a mirroring energy, where if they're really friendly to you, you're super friendly to them. If they're standoffish and aloof, the next day you're standoffish and aloof. If they're moody, you act moody. So I, I feel like there was this massive mirroring、uh, energy between you and this person, and it created a lot of confusion. It created a lot of trust issues. It created a lot of.、Um, I feel like power struggles as well with this person between you and this person.、Um, Their energy is a king, and your energy is a.、Um, this is a page, okay? They're coming across as a king, king of wands in the reverse. Your energy is page of swords in the reverse. And so, what I'm feeling is, I, I sense as if they have a very, very good reason for why they're doing what they did. Or why they behave the way that they did, and I feel like you don't see the full story, you don't see the the full picture, and you don't see like you're not able to make sense of the situation, and so you have an opportunity to go back to the situation, revisit this person, and get all your answers or all your questions answered.、Um, the nature of fire signs, and I believe I. Mentioned this with the Scorpio reading. Fire signs in general are very dignified. If you come at them straight, they're going to come at you very straight. Okay, so if you ask a question, they're going to give you an answer. If you want them to elaborate, you have to ask further questions. So they're just very straight shooters. And、um, if, if this has been a perplexing situation, I feel like you need to go back, and you need to get your closure, or you need to be able to understand the situation because it feels to me like it's unfinished. And I almost feel like the answer—you you might even, you know, fear the answer, but the answer is going to be—it's it, like the answer is really good, and it's not something that you anticipated or expected to come out of this person.、Um, Breaching the topic or having that opportunity to talk is going to be very, very awkward for both of you. For both of you, but once you clear the air, things will take off. Okay, so if this is like a boss, for example, it's going to create a, another, like a, another level of mutual understanding between you. If this is like a love interest, it might make you. You know, be in a relationship with them by the end of the week if you clear the air. That's how powerful this energy is. This is a do-over. This is like a reset from the universe to allow you to right a wrong, to fix a situation, and to not just think about it, but to take initiative to do something that I feel that you feel you owe it to yourself to do. 
So if this is a love partner in particular, they have a really、um, good reason for what they they have done. And、um, whenever I see the King of Wands, I always feel like it's someone who's very very protective. They're not of themselves. They're very protective of the people that they love, and take that whichever way you want. They could be protective of you. They could be, you know, not wanting you to get hurt. But there is a situation here. You think it's one way, but it's actually another way, and、um, you might be fearful or afraid to to have this this conversation or this discussion because you might be fearful of the truth. You might be you might be afraid that it's going to stir up some conflict, or you might feel like, oh, it's too awkward. I'd rather just bury it and and be done with it and move on. Um, but the answer is something that I feel is totally unexpected. You did not see things in that way, and it's going to shed some light. And I, I just feel like the truth is so much better than you anticipated. And so, overcome that awkwardness to have this conversation. It's um. I feel almost like you're being led back to the situation. You're being led back. You're being you you're you're being given this opportunity. You're. It's going to solve a lot of、um, problems, and it's going to shed some light into a situation that you you. Once you, it's revealed. It's almost like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had so many blind spots. I didn't realize that you know I was seeing things in such a tunnel vision. So it's going to give you a holistic view, like a panoramic view, and you're going to be shocked in a very good way. Okay, so have this conversation. Go back to it, fix it, resolve it. Whatever awkwardness there is, it needs to be cleared up. So that's the first message. Um, I feel like many of you, your relationship status might change this week. Okay, so if you're single,、um, not the other way around though, but if you're single, you might be in a relationship, or you might be dating, or you might be、um, starting to commit to to one person.、Um, I don't see people who are, you know, coupled up and then broken up though. I don't see that going that way. I just feel like if you're single, you you might end up in a relationship, and that's why it's so important to clear the air.、Um, there's opportunity for dating, and there's opportunity for romance. So there's a lot of that coming up into in in the spread. And what I have here is just a lot of、um, social gatherings, a lot of outings, a lot of opportunities to socialize, mingle, get to know people, and be around you know really attractive people in general. Um, this is a card about you know celebration, and it's usually like social dating, socializing,、uh, getting to know somebody, and it can denote you know whatever level commitment, going out with a significant other, or getting to know somebody, taking things to the next level. And we have as well the Eight of Wands, electronic communication, communication com- coming in very very quickly. And so if you have been single, this is the single person, Nine of Pentacles. Um, they have a lot of financial abundance, but when it's in the reverse, I almost feel like the end to your single life, the end to seclusion and isolation. If life has always been about work, 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 this is the week where you have a major breakthrough, where you're going to be able to connect to somebody, and you know, feel almost like feel almost complete. Okay, like、um, complete total satisfaction and happiness. If life has been kind of mundane, if you're just going through the motions, home and work, this is a card about boredom, dreaming for something bigger, dreaming for, you know, whoever it is that you could be thinking about to come into the picture. All it took was for the conversation to start, and for two people to clear the air, or the conversation to start. And for you to make that connection, so I definitely feel love and abundance is all around you, and I I feel like this is not the week to dwell on past relationships. Okay, it's not so it's not that great. 
unless you have that person where there is、um, you know like con- confusion, lack of closure, and things like that, or you still have that person that you're still pining after. But you have been just keeping them in your head rather than reaching out and making that connection. So that's what I'm sensing. I feel like for many of you,、um, in the work environment, you might be in a position of prominence, or you might be thrust into a position of prominence very soon. So I, I keep seeing this imagery of somebody like grooming somebody into a pos-、uh, into like a leadership position, or all the signs could be pointing towards you know leadership. Because honestly, Libras, you guys are very, very smart. Okay, you guys are really, really intelligent. And you know, out of all the air signs, the Gemini's—they're—they're they're great communicators. They're great orators. But I feel like the,、um, Aquarius people—they're great leaders when they believe in a cause, but they don't really want to take the the initiative to lead the way, and they're not very diplomatic. They can could be very blunt and very curt. Um, but I feel like Aquarius and Gemini's are a little bit scattered. They don't have your attention to details.、Um, you are very detail oriented, like a Virgo, and you are also very meticulous with the things that you do, like a Virgo. You're perfectionistic, almost like a Virgo. And so I feel like you know that blend of、um, intelligence, perfectionism. And you have patience. You have a lot more patience than Aquarius, than Gemini's.、Um, you are also very diplomatic. So, like being in a position of leadership, it's almost like it's destined for you. And so, I don't know if all the signs are pointing in that direction. You might, for example, so for example, right now you might just be a worker. You're not like a supervisor or a manager. And then all of a sudden, you start seeing, you know, in your、uh, mailbox. Here's a leadership、uh, seminar, and it's designed for supervisors. Or here's a、uh, an opportunity to lead a leadership seminar. You know, something like that. Just like a bunch of little signs. And you might not. You might have just recently started a job, and you already. And I know you guys are really smart, and people around you know it. And so there might already be, you know, a lot of eyes on you because people are. Gauging and people know your potential, and so I feel like if this is if you have just started out and you're just like I'm still trying to learn the ropes. I'm not aiming for too、uh, much responsibility right now. I'm still just trying to get my foot in the door, and I'm trying to take it easy. But I feel like all the signs are pointing in that direction, and the reason I say that here is the three of wands. This is leading the flock. You can see all the people. That are behind him. He's on top of the hill, leading the way, leading the the charge. Okay, so I definitely feel something's on the horizon for you, and I feel like right now, it might just be something that you kind of think about, but you're not really heavily invested in it. But I feel like it's going to come out of the blue, and the opportunity will present itself. And I feel like you should grab the opportunity if it does come in. So you might have started、um, a job, you know. Like a few for a few months, and、um, you're doing really well. And then all of a sudden, a new job opens, and and then your supervisor might even tell you, you should apply for it. And you're just like, I don't know if I qualify. I just started, but you you do, and that's why your supervisor might be, you know, nudging you to apply for something that you feel is a little bit outside of your league. Okay,、um, take the chance. If we take the opportunity, then we'll know. If not, it's always going to be a pipe dream. It's always going to be out there, and you might be looking back on it, you know, a few months, a few years down the line, with regret that you didn't do it sooner. So, I feel like the energy for this spread is about what should have been or what could have been, and is really urging you to make a move. Is really urging you to. Start and initiate, and 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 you know, be the catalyst of change in your own life, rather than waiting for things to come in, rather than waiting for things to happen. You kind of need to take the initiative.、Um, and I feel like this is in your career. This is also in your love life. Okay, if you want it to be the way that you want, the way you envision, the way you dreamed of, 
you have to be the one to take initiative. So overcome that sense of stagnation. Overcome that sense of I want things to fall on my lap, or if it's meant to be, it should fall on my lap. Well, life rarely works out that way. So,、um, you know, try your best to try your best to 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 rectify situations. Be the one to reach out. Be the one to make the change. Be the one to hunt for new opportunities. Okay. So I will leave it at that, Libras. I wish you all the best and、uh, take care of yourself. I will be back next week. Okay. I hope the reading resonates, and I'll see you guys soon.